Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, let's talk about the Insta360 GO 2, the second generation of the tiny little action camera in your pocket, in your thumb size. A different from the first generation now, it is an action cam, it's not a steady cam anymore. In this video, you're gonna learn 10 facts and 7 more bonus tips for you to master the Insta360 GO 2 like never before. My name is Yu Guo. My YouTube channel is dedicated to 360 photography, video, and so much more. The number one is about a quarter inch thread in the charging case. Uh, as you can see, on the bottom of the charging case, there's a Type-C connector and a quarter inch mount on the bottom. And if you take a closer look at the quarter inch thread inside that, there is the metal reinforcement. It is solid stable. The second fact about Insta360 GO 2 is about some uh, architecture, the chipset, and the hardware on this camera inside this 30 gram camera body. Honestly speaking, the Insta360 ONE R still is a little bit more powerful than the GO 2, but the GO 2 camera is still capable to capture 40, 30 full sensor readout from that 1 over 2.3 inch sensor. GO 2 was designed to be an action cam, and inside this camera is an amazing flow state stabilization with horizon lock feature. In my previous video about the GoPro Hero 9 with max lens mode, I have already given you a scientific approach to help you understand how does it work behind the horizon lock. And with a 4K 30 full sensor readout for the GO 2, we could capture 2.7K at most at 50 FPS. It is also capable to read out at uh, 3K 50 FPS. By cropping in that 3K circle, we could get 2.7K at most 15 FPS with perfect flow state horizon locking. That is to say, inside that 13 gram camera body, you get nearly as much as the GoPro Hero 9 with a max lens mod. Next up, let's talk about some photographic potential behind this 30 grams Insta360 GO 2. The pure shot mode is still there in this camera. Uh, although the sensor size is only 1 over 2.3 inch, it's less powerful compared with the Leica like mode, but with pure shot, you know the power of the pure shot. You could capture stunning photographs with pure shot. And for the resolution, it could capture as much as 9 megapixels. Uh, 3K multiply 3K that is square. And by cropping in the circle for social network, you can get a 1080p. And with the Go 2, you can also capture in Star Labs, in HDR mode, and to normal JPEG files. If the Go 2 could capture in pure shot, that is to say the camera will also save a DNG raw data inside this internal storage. There's one more bonus feature for the photographic potential for the Go 2, that is a film panel. The film panel is only equipped with a mass production version with the app and hardware. With the film panel, you can get a very wide angle of view while still maintain a great perspective, a great aspect ratios. With the film panel shooting mode, not only could capture with high resolution, but also with a more artistic view. So don't forget to try film panel with your app and go to. And next up is about shooting while charging. Inside this charging case, there's already 1000 milliamp battery. Within the 30 gram camera body, there's also a 210 milliamp lithium battery. But to capture in time lapse or to capture in star lapse, uh, this amount of energy is just not enough. And especially when you want to capture a star lapse, you have to mount your camera on a tripod and still charging through the Type-C port. But if you take a closer look at the bottom design of the Go 2 charging case, you can see they are pretty close. But is that possible to charge while shooting for a long period of time to capture in time lapse? The answer is yes. With a quarter inch spacer, now you can levitate your charging case in between the selfie stick, tripod, and the charging case. That is to say, there is plenty of space to put inside a Type-C port to charge the charging case, and the charging case will constantly charge the Insta360 GO 2 with the charging pin. Next one is about the storage and read-write speed. As we know, inside the circuit board, there is a eMMC 5.1 32 gigabytes. This high speed flash read and write speed is just uh, so fast. It's much faster compared with the TF card, the micro SD card. And it's even faster than the UHS 
to standard and thus the user experience improves a lot. You can just cannot use all of the 32 gigabyte because there is operating system, the firmware, uh, there's some backstage program that will take around uh, four gigabyte. So altogether, the remaining available space for you to capture is around 28 gigabytes. A wireless transfer your data to the app or to a desktop. Uh, you can also utilize five gigahertz Wi-Fi compared with 2.4 gigahertz with uh, AC, AC standard five gigahertz Wi-Fi. The transfer speed is also really, really fast. Okay, number six is about the flash card. The flash card is an AI boosted editing workflow for you than for the AI to analyze so that we can burn out the best part of your edge clip and put them together to generate and with the Insta360 Go 2 and the flash card. So being creative has never been so possible. Next one is about the recording limit, the recording capability about the Insta360 Go 2. If you take a closer look at the user menu, uh, you should see that uh, the uh, recording limit with the carol shooting the recording limit is 15 minutes. Uh, but if you turn on the pro mode stabilization, the upper limit will be 10 minutes. With the basic shooting mode, you're gonna generate a uh, conventional 16 by nine directly in the MP4 format and save in your internal storage. With the pro mode, the camera gonna save in ISV format. That will save a 3K multiply 3K in a circle and jam into all kinds of gyroscope accelerometers all kinds of flow state information right inside the ISV format. So with the Insta360 Studio or your app, you can recompose and apply the different flow state settings to boost your footage at the post. And if you want to ever capture a uh, motion blur video such as uh, 16 times faster with a motion blur effect, as you can see, you have to enable the pro mode and generate that photo in post, that is 10 minutes divided by 16. So the maximum length gonna be 37.5 seconds. Go to camera on FPV drone. You know, when you fly in FPV, there is an active heat dissipation by the wind tunnel. So the upper limit gonna increase to half an hour continuous recording. That is pretty amazing because for the most mainstream FPV drone, the battery life is less than 30 minutes. That is pretty insane for the FPV users if you want to make the most of the go-to in combination with your FPV drone. And for the time-lapse video, the upper limit for the recording is 110 minutes. And with uh, 16 times faster, you're gonna finally save in a seven minutes video right inside your storage space. Let's take a closer look at the Insta360 Studio for the go-to footage. You have two options. Number one is a standard flow state stabilization with horizon lock. That will take the full advantage of all the information in the jam in your footage. So it's just like you uh, recording with a GoPro Hero camera with a max lens mount. The horizontal line will be locked. It will never move. And there is also a second option that is the FPV stabilization. The science behind the algorithm is to not to fully isolate the row angle so you can skip out the horizon lock footage will also looks quite stable, but at the same time could reflect your dynamic of your FPV drone. The capture with your camera body, you will see that there is a basic mode and a pro mode. With the basic mode, the camera will generate MP4 file with 16 by 9 ratio right inside the storage. And with the pro mode, you're gonna capture 3K multiply 3K circle footage with all kinds of data jammed inside the IFSV format to enable the maximum potential in post. Luckily enough, the maximum bit rate about Insta360 Go 2 is 80 megabit per second. So the quality about this footage is pretty awesome. And you can also capture an HDR video at maximum 25 frames per second. An HDR video and the Color Plus is a killer combo. 
The other fact about Insta360 GO 2, the backbone design. The backbone was designed was made of plastic, but right beneath the plastic case, there is a very powerful magnetic. So you can just put your Insta360 GO 2 on a different kind of accessory, and you can also put your camera directly to your uh, metal uh, as long as it is it is magnetic. So you can mount it your Insta360 GO 2 to almost uh, anywhere, everywhere in your life. The other fact about Insta360 GO 2 is about the waterproof directness about the design. You can put your lens guard on the top of your lens. Once your GO 2 camera body is equipped with a lens guard, it, this combo could survive the waterproof as much as 13 feet. And that is around 4 meters under the water. And the camera is going to survive as long as 30 minutes. So this is pretty awesome. It is waterproof with the lens guard. So if you only capture your footage without lens guard, you don't want to drop that inside the water. Next up, let's talk about seven bonus tips for you to master your Insta360 Go to like never before. Number one is about some basic or the best settings for you to capture stunning footage just with a single tap of button. To capture the best maximum quality, it's shot in Pro Mode of 1440p at 15 FPS, and turn on the horizon lock and turn on the ultra wide photo view and also turn on the vivid color that will guarantee you're going to capture a very stunning footage for your social network directly from the camera directly from the app and if you want to ever have a full control on the color you can also switch from vivid to log mode to have more potential in post to have more control on the color signs and if you ever want to control your camera via the Insta360 app, you should know that this GoTo camera is also fully manual control supported. You can control the ISO, the shutter, but the aperture about this camera is fixed at f2.2. And there's additional ND filter designed by Freewell for the GoTo camera. Always keep your lens clean. So if you might ever make a side-by-side -side comparison be in between the different footage, one of them with a dirty lens, one of them with crystal clear and sharp lens, as you can see, there is a different, a huge variation, a huge difference about the two footage. So just remember to keep your lens as clean as possible. If you ever forgot to take out a lens cloth, uh, you can use your clothes. Just do like this and it will help a lot to one. If you want to ever get the best possible quality for your social network, always export at the best quality. The maximum resolution, the maximum bit rate. For example, in your Insta360 app, the maximum bit rate should be 122 megabit per second. And if you are a desktop workflow player, uh, you should see that with uh, Insta360 Studio 2021, you can even export in ProRes a huge file size, but that will boost your workflow, make your post process a lot easier and much more qualified. If you ever capture the footage with the uh, Insta360 Go 2 in Pro mode, the horizon lock is uh, turned on by default. The horizon lock is working on all the different FOV, including the ultra wide, the wide, the linear. So no matter how you rotate your camera, once you turn on the horizon lock, the final footage we also we always have a perfect horizon line that is perfect for everyday vlog and also for your action cam. The Insta360 Go 2 camera has built in three different color modes: the standard, the vivid, and the lock mode. So if you ever want to create a footage for a social network, I think the vivid color is a more appealing to your audience, to your subscribers. And if you ever want to have more control, you can try log mode. But by default, uh, with you capture in standard mode, uh, you can have a sweet spot in between the vivid and lock. So in the standard mode, it is just not oversaturated, but still have a little bit more potential to control in post about accuracy on the color. So you should try different color mode and make your own decision which color mode you should choose by default. And the final tip about the Insta360 Go 2 is to make the most of your magnetic clip to put your magnet pendant inside your clothes so that you can make the most of your magnet design. But always remember that on the back of the Insta360 Go 2, there is a built-in 
magnetic pins. So you can just snap your camera to any surface that is magnetic. Okay, that is all about the 10 facts and 7 bonus tip about Insta360 GO 2. I do hope you can enjoy your life and try to be creative. And in the future, I want to tell with you more about the accessory design about Insta360 GO 2 because I do have some secret weapons behind this action cam to boost its potential at the maximum level. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. More coming in the future. Until next time, bye.